Once you've explored Edpuzzle and explored their database and have found some videos that you have added to your My Content folder, now I'm going to show you how you can make some changes to those particular videos. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm clicking on My Content, and My Content is going to show me any videos that I have either copied or I have edited or that I have created. So you can see here I have a number of different videos and above those videos I have folders. So as you begin to add more videos to your My Content folder, it can become a little daunting to find them. So Edpuzzle has created the option to add folders so that you can copy different videos into different folders to make it easier to navigate. We'll go over that in another video. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to my individual videos that I have here. And this is the one that I had just copied over to my content from the Edpuzzle database. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Once you've clicked on the video, you'll have a number of options right above it. So in order to make changes to this, I'm going to click on the Edit button. So once we're in the edit mode, you'll see here I have a cut option, a voiceover option, and a questions option. So right now, as soon as I click edit, you're going to be on the cut option. And what cut means is if you want to cut the movie down or cut the video down a little bit more or expand it. So you can see here the person who created this particular ed puzzle this was a very long YouTube video, but they only took a particular section that they thought was appropriate for their students. So if you wanted to look at the entire video, you could drag this over and you could play through the entire video. And then whether if you wanted to cut the video or you wanted to include more of the video, you could drag these little options over here at the end and it will extend the video to whatever point um, that is in the video itself. If you want to do any voiceovers, the voiceover option right now is only available to videos that you have created yourself. You can't use it on YouTube videos due to copyright. The part that you're probably going to use the most is questions. So questions gives you the opportunity now to add your own multiple choice questions, open edited questions, or notes. Now, if you don't want one or all of the questions that have already been inserted into this, you can get rid of them as well. So if you click on the icon, that these little dots that represent the particular questions that are already embedded, you will see the question over here. And if you just want to change a little bit of the question, you can click on the edit button and you can make changes to the question. So right now, this is how the question appears, and you will find spelling errors occasionally. This is why I said it's always good to look through the entire video before you assign it to your students. Um, and if you make any changes, you would save them. In this case, I'm not going to make any changes. You also have the option to delete a question altogether. So if you don't want this question as part of your video lesson, you can click Delete, and that will then disappear. Uh, this You can't undo that when you do that, so be careful, but you can always go back to the Edpuzzle database and get another copy of the lesson if you wanted to have the original as it was. If you want to add your own multiple choice question, what you'll do is you will drag this icon, which will allow you to kind of scrub through the video, and let's say there is another point in the video where you wanted to pause and you want to pose a question to check for student understanding. So right here is where I'm going to leave this little dot. And let's say I want to ask a question about whatever it is he might have said. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on multiple choice question. So you will have a little bit of a formatting toolbar, but you're going to type your question in here. And then in the boxes below, you're going to include choices. By default, they give you two. So maybe I'm just putting in some random uh, options in here. And if you want to add another one, you can do that here. And then what you need to do before you save it is you need to select which one is the correct choice by clicking the green neck check, bar, check mark next to one of the options. Once you have done that, you'll click Save. And now your question will appear at this segment where you um, chose and the multiple choice question will show up and the students will be paused in the video to answer this question. 
So I'm done here. Now, if I wanted to continually add more questions, you're going to take this little um, icon up here in the storyboard and you're just going to drag it to the point in the video where you might want to add um, other questions. Multiple choice questions, because you're pre-selecting the correct choice, will automatically be graded right or wrong. Um, Open-ended questions, obviously you will need to look at them and assign a grade to them if you're grading them um, because there's there you're not pre-selecting a correct choice. I'm going to cancel out of this. You also can put in a handwritten note, not a handwritten note, but a typed note if you want to um, remind your students of something in the middle, middle of the video or draw attention to it. That's what this note option is for. You can also include um, you know, math formulas if you needed to remind students, or you can paste a video link in there to something else you want the students to look at. And you also can include uh, an image, um, and you can include um, formulas. So you have a number of different things that you can include in here. Once you've edited the video the way you want it, all you're going to do is come up here and hit the Finish button. So as you are making changes to your video and you're adding questions or you're deleting questions, everything is saved automatically because you're working in an online environment. So you don't have to worry about losing your work unless you lose internet access and then you, you are going to lose your work. But otherwise, all your work is going to be saved. And once you're done editing, you will click Finish and your video now may be ready to go in order for your students to start to interact with your video. So in the following videos, we're gonna go through um, how to assign videos and use some of the other features in Edpuzzle that allows you to create your own Edpuzzles.